So hi everyone and welcome to this uh, relatively short video on testing for multicollinearity inside of R. So um, we're going to use the same data set that we used before. So um, that's the uh, data set that was on the video on the bivariate regression. I'll have that link down in the video box description. Uh, but basically, we're going to formulate a new model, which includes now multiple variables inside of it. And uh, we're going to test for multicollinearity using the VIF as well as the tolerance. Okay, so uh, to run our regression, so let's formulate a model. And uh, our dependent variable will be the course grade, uh, which is uh, the grade that the student obtained in a particular course. And uh, the hours of gaming in, in a day that the student uh, ends up doing, the number of hours of sleep uh, the person does in a day, and the grade that the person had on a prerequisite course prior to this course wherein the course grade was measured for. So if we run this first command, OLS underscore regress, that just does the regression for us, that linear regression, and we have uh, our concept here, right? So we have uh, it here. Now, um, notice in our parameter estimates, uh, we have a positive relationship for all the variables, which is shocking. And uh, you can see that they're quite significant. So you obviously might expect that for uh, the prereq rate and the hours of uh, sleep, but not necessarily the hours of gaming, right? But uh, nevertheless, right? So according to this model formulation, uh, one, uh, uh, if I increase the prereq grade by about uh, a grade point, then that increases the course grade by roughly 0.23. Quite high contribution, but not as high as the hours of sleep contribution, which seems to be quite a big determinant. Okay. So uh, if you recall, right, uh, in this particular case, we have a couple of variables that are there. That's, we have three independent variables that are there. That's hours of game, hours of sleep, and the prereq grade. And essentially, what we want to do is we want to derive uh, the variance inflating factor. Now, you could do it with just this command that we're going to run later on. But if you want to sort of compute for it and understand how it's computed for, we need to do the auxiliary regression. So we, we can do three auxiliary regressions, right? So we have here Rs of game. And this is going to be the first one, right? The Rs of game against a prereq grade. So you get that then what you do is to compute for the VIF estimate of that particular model is you run the formula one over one minus okay, the R squared of this model. So this is the auxiliary regression R's on R's of game. And you have here the R squared. So you just copy that and you paste it over here. And then you get this one. So this is the VIF value for the R's of game variable. And that's very low, right? 1.7, that's not near 10. Right, so let's try to see another variable. So let's do this one. So we get, uh, let's do hours of sleep now. So we change this one to hours of game, right? Quite simple to do in R. So we have this one. So we ran this auxiliary regression now, then same step, run the formula one over one minus uh, the R squared. So that's this one, 0.708 uh, and, uh, 708. Then you have that one there and you get a value of 3.42. Again, very low, uh, not near 10. So there's no sign of multicollinearity yet. The last one that we'll do is uh, for the prereq grade. So just copy that. Don't waste time on that. So prereq grade. Then you have here hours of sleep. Right. So you have that one. Run that model, and this is now your auxiliary regression for the prereq grade. Do the same procedure, right? You do one over one minus r squared sub j, and that's this r squared here. That's 0.675, and you get this one. There, that's 3.07, right? So we should be expecting the values that we have there when we run the test. And what I'll do is I'll just store the regret, the main regression, which is this one into a model object, which I'll call model2 using the lm command. So I'll run that. And I'll run this command, which is OLS underscore VIF underscore tolerance, which uh, by the name, by the command itself, it will give you the VIF and the tolerance. So you get this one, which is indeed the same values that we had gotten. So we got 1.72 at some point. We got 3.4. We got 
a 1.72 here, and then we got a 3 somewhere along there. Right, so we were able to derive that, and it appears that this model, at least for now, doesn't suffer from any dangerous multicolumn error. So that's it for this video. Uh, it just shows how to implement variance inflating factor and uh, your tolerance tests inside of R. So thank you very much for your attention, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.